welcome to Psychic Medium, Tony Green. I am Tony Green, the Psychic Medium. So, Love Talks back. Big round of applause. I'm so happy it's back. Okay, so a few quick, really fast announcements. I'm going to try to get through them as quickly as I can. First and foremost, please, I will never reach out to anybody telling them they need anything. It's not my job. If you need me, you come to me and I am here for you. If you want to come to me, would you like to come to me? Come to me. Um, that's the closest you're going to get to me telling you you need something. Uh, you can go to my website, T-O-N-I-G dot I-N-F-O. Oh, Tony G dot info. That's my website. Um, so if you want a reading, healing, hypnosis, a book, a book, a book, my big book, you got any of those, <laughs> go to my website or click the link below if you're watching me on any social media or any um, podcast. There should be a link. And it should have all the information where to get what I have. Okay. Big announcements. February 2nd, I am going to be in Florida doing a live event. Yes, you can join us. I'll be answering questions, doing clearings, connecting people with people upstairs. Well, not, liter not, not literally upstairs, like, but, you know, heaven upstairs. Knock, knock, knocking on heaven's door. <laughs> There's the first song of the show. <laughs> it's starting. It is already starting. <laughs> okay. Uh, the silliness will be throughout the show tonight. We will. <laughs> thank you for that. Whoever did that, thank you. Um. Okay, we are going to be going um, into the next set. Oh, wait, wait. Also, this th that time of year is here again. Guess what? This show is being entered for awards. Mm -hmm. WSCS has awards every single year, every year, every single year. And we are entering my show into those awards so if there's a show that you can recall that you really love that I've done or one of the shows that you think is phenomenal from last year, the year of 2023, please let me know and we will enter that show. I'm very, very excited about it. And guess what? The award ceremony, it's in Eau Claire, Wisconsin, which is where I was born. Yeah. <laughs> Right? Right? While I'm up there, I'm definitely going horseback riding. Man, those that's where as a child, when I was younger and I would horseback ride, it was always in Eau Claire. It was amazing. Now I have to find somebody who has a farm and a horse up there so I can just like go horseback riding. Okay, that is not what it... I don't care if that's what it looks like. That's just what I'm going to be. I'm going to be like riding while I'm up there. I'm going to find somebody. I'm going to, tonight I'm going online and looking for somebody with horses that I can just ride. Ride. Ah, ride something, right? Up, up to the sky. That's the next song that came through. N numero. Not uno, dos. Okay. Next announcement. So that's announcement number two, Daytona Beach, February 2nd. Daytona, February 2nd at the Cinematique um, Awards in Eau Claire. Um, what else? There are other announcements. I'll go through them as the show goes on. Don't get scammed. Uh, oh, you're at, okay. Patrick says he's out to, Patrick's in, California right now, everybody. And he says, I'm out to dinner at Mission Ranch owned by Clint Eastwood. Nice. Nice. Very nice, Patrick. 
Blog Talk is working again. So if you'd like to call in and ask me a question, connect with a loved one, the number is 845-277-9131. It's been like a couple of shows, so I literally need to look that up. 845-277-9131 is the call-in number for Blog Talk. And I will be taking callers tonight. Call in. And um, if you have a question or you want to talk to somebody on the other side, push one so your little hand on my call log goes up and I know you want to ask a question. Okay, next I'm going to do, um, I always do songs and names. The, the, the songs can be um, a song you love, they love, or the answer to a question. The names can be your name or somebody on the other side's name or um, somebody you know. But it, if you hear a song and it answers a question, it's from a loved one or your angels. If you hear a name, it's your name, somebody in your family's name or somebody on the other side's name. Just know it's for you. Even if I say a name like Michael and that name is for like 20 different people, it's for all 20 of you. Okay, just. Just know that. So we're going to go into names right now because they're already like coming at me. The first name is Lorenzo. Loren, Loren, Loren. Why can I not roll my tongue? Hmm. Brrr. Lorenzo. Lorenzo. Brrr. <laughs> How do I get people to watch this? I don't even know at this point. I'm literally turning red with embarrassment for myself. <laughs> Trying to learn how to roll my tongue on live TV. Okay, so yeah, the show does go live on TV. I, I use this to record it, but it goes live on WSCS and all of their channels um, and their uh, podcast and their YouTube, and it, it goes live on Rude Rangers and all of their channels. These include Roku channels and um, streaming channels, a plethora of streaming channels. So just know that. Um, so once I get done doing this very classy <laughs> this show, it gets loaded up to live TV where where people people watch it they actually turn on their streaming stations to watch me learn to roll my tongue mm. yay me <laughs> bringing tv watching to a whole new level that's what i'm doing okay um lorenzo lorenzo i'm just calling you lorenzo lorenzo the next name is Mikel. Mikel. the next name is sharice the next name is Lolly. Hmm. The next name is Melba. The next name is David, Jerome, Douglas. The next name is, seriously, Cinnamon. Cinnamon, maybe. Maybe that was her stage name. I, I'm not judging. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Cinnamon. Next on stage, we have Cinnamon. Cinnamon hit the center stage. I'm so sorry. It's an adult show. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay thank you riley riley just said cinnamon was his dad's horse thank you riley see cinnamon um it was greg's pet horse see, thank you yeah his name is riley riley thank you so much cinnamon see i say these things and i might get a little goofy with them but literally then, then Riley, I'm going to tell you, that's probably from your dad. Seriously. I can't even right now. I can't even. Thank you so much, Riley. I, I'm so grateful that you put that through. So, sorry for insinuating your dog's horse might have been a stage act. 
but okay, you'll get to see I'm I'm very goofy on the show. Okay, the next name I'm hearing is um Uh, the next name I'm hearing, it, I think it's a it, it's a Japanese name, and I'm having it's Horoshita, Horoshita, which I cannot say either. But I apologize. I'm doing the best I can with names I cannot pronounce. Uh, Mar Marisol or Marisala, and the next name is. Um, I'm gonna do two more names: Margaret and. Josephina. That's it. We're done with names. We're going to go to songs. The song might be the answer to a question, a song they loved, you loved, or um, just it, it can also be a group. Um, like I'm hearing right now, Nirvana, anything by Nirvana or a very specific song by Nirvana. The next uh, song is, um, <laughs> Jesus, they're going to make me sing it. <laughs> just before I sing, for those of you who are new, I do not know how to sing, and I am aware I do not know how to sing. <clears throat> but they bring they bring it through in song, so I go with it. You, <laughs> I can't. And this song is such as it. it I'm going to sabotage it. <clears throat> and you, you light up my life. You bring me joy. You no, I don't think the next line is turn me on. You you light up my life, you bring me joy, you something, something, something. Okay, whatever that song is, okay. Um the next song is um take a look at my girlfriend. She's the only one I got. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think this is a, I am laughing so hard because I do not believe this is a song that flatters a girl I think he's like saying like not much of a girlfriend <laughs> is are those the real words to that song somebody I need to know okay <laughs> Jesus Jesus, Joseph and Mary, let's pull it together. Okay, um, the next, <laughs> should I even, at this point, you guys, should I even continue with songs? Is this like a thing now? Um, the next song is, um, uh, okay, this song came through on Monday's show. I'm in love with a thug, with a thug, with I'm in love. And that's the only line that's coming through is that. And the next, the next song that's coming through is, um, it's that song by, I wanted to say Elvis Presley. So Elvis Presley, but it's not Elvis Presley. It's that song by Johnny Cash, that uh, train and that something trains are coming down that old da -da track i don't even know the words but that's the song they're bringing through for somebody okay now i'm gonna get really serious um then i'm only gonna do two more songs so this silliness can stop because this is just pure silliness i just need to get <laughs> <clears throat> okay the next song is the charlie brown song i have no idea but the dun, 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 dun. when i was gonna say i have no idea they just started doing the charlie brown song and then one more song and the next song is they're bringing back take a look at my girlfriend which <laughs> that's a solid no on repeating that <laughs> messing up i don't want to mess that song up twice sir <laughs> um Okay, <clears throat> there's a woman here, and she is a, a thicker, fuller, low hump woman, and she is singing um, uh, gospel songs, and she has uh, dark skin, very, very dark skin, very dark skin. 
you know what I'm talking about. But since I don't know the appropriate word for that dark skin anymore, everybody keeps changing it. I'm just going to say very, very melanated skin to the extreme. She's saying she she always had gospel music on, always played gospel music. And yes, okay. Um, and before you come at me about melanated skin, remember, my family is the United Nations. I have nieces and nephews that are Hispanic and chocolata, dark chocolate, medium chocolate, caramel chocolate, and white chocolata. All shades of chocolate in my family. So don't come at me just because I don't know the right word to use. All righty. Um, that note, we're going to get into it. Here we go, getting into it. Um, I'm going to channel a little bit during this show again because everybody seems to be liking the channeling. I'm going to be going between questions on the chat in the chat and questions on the call log. Thank you, YouTube. I'm truly grateful for you fixing your errors. Thank you for being back. Um, so Rebecca said she was, um, something was going on with YouTube. They were probably upset with something I said on another show again. <laughs> and she had to, she was unsubscribed from my show and she had to resubscribe. So guys, check your subscriptions and Make sure that you're still subscribed. Thank you for letting me know that, Rebecca. I um, really appreciate it. Okay, I'm going to go to the first caller, who is um, <clears throat> 203. 203, please have an exact question and or loved one ready for me. What's your name? Here we go. Hey, Tony. It's Pat from Connecticut. Happy New Year. I can see you on YouTube. You look beautiful. And um, my question is not the most pleasant. I'll try to be clear, but keep it PG. Um, can you hear me? For I can. Thank you. Oh, good. Okay. My neighbor, who I have had issues, confrontations with before, and I will not speak to him or address him whatsoever at Christmas Eve, put an envelope in my mailbox as I was leaving. Fortunately, I saw it was him. I put my laundry in, I came back and something in my head said, oh, put gloves on your hands and open this with a knife. It was scotch tape, but above the tape, all wet. When I opened the card, there was more liquid in the card. And <clears throat> I'm wondering if you can confirm my <clears throat> worst suspicion of what he put there and if you could sort of address his mind i just don't get it okay so the first thing i'm hearing that you know if somebody put something in your mailbox um and there's something liquid the first thing i'm doing if i if i know that i have a sketchy relationship with this person is i'm you know the popo is at my door I, I don't care if snitches get stitches. I will take those stitches to take your butt down. I will, you're going down. You are, if you are trying to be whatever with me, you're going down. I, I don't play like that. I don't, I, I'm not going to play with that. Um, but second of all, police, and, and it's better to. The, the police. Mm -hmm. The police came and he kind of made me feel like a fool. That's okay. Um, and I just let him do you know what? Do what he had to say. And I'm going to tell you, it's okay if he made you feel like a fool because it's on record. And that's all you need is to no, have it on record. No, he, he was, he was saying, what, what am I supposed to do? What do you expect me to write? You got a Christmas card that was all wet. So I let him go. And then he did turn around and gave me a case number. I had to cut you know, cover okay. his butt or whatever, and again, but yeah. And management is also. Okay. And again, and again, and I'm sorry, but I, you know, here's the thing. Here's the thing. And again, you have the case number and that's the most important thing. And here's the other thing that 
if you know you have a neighbor that you don't get along with and there are possibly icky things going on or they're sending you icky things, one of the things that I first just don't even take it, just, you know, put it in the garbage, don't distress yourself over it. And second, um, if you're going to continue living there and you are, and if he's going to continue to live there and, and he is, um, find a way to make peace with the situation. It doesn't matter what his state of mind is. Okay, because we can't, we can't change or control people and knowing their state of mind does not matter. If he's a whatever, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. All that matters is your state of mind. And if you're letting somebody affect you like this, if you're letting somebody have this type of effect on you, and I get it. When you live in a communal property and you have neighbors that you are not in harmony with or in peace with, it is very distressing. Um, so you have to make the choice to get on a list to get into another space or to somehow get, and I know, I know you're going to say, I can't because I'm on housing and yada, yada. And then again, all I can say is get on a list because eventually something will come up for you. Now, don't complain about this person to everybody because that just makes it bigger in your head, it not in, in your reality. Instead, if you can't get on a list to, to get to another property altogether, ask instead of complaining about this guy, try to get moved in the property that you're at. Now, if there's nothing you can do about this guy and nothing you can do about your situation, then I would just start being really nice to him. And I, I know how difficult that can be, but you know, you, you don't have a lot of options in that case. In that case, there are not a lot of options for you if you're not able or wanting to relocate. So that's what I have for you, Pat. And I'm so sorry for what you're going through. And I hope it does get better. I really do. And I hope that you find peace with this situation. I, I truly do because I know it can be very, very difficult to be in a situation with uh, somebody so close to your home that is very distressing. And I apologize that you're going through that. And this is no way to start a new year. So I hope that that, that brings you some, some help. I really do hope it brings you some help. Um, okay, we are going to uh, go to, wow, there are so many comments in the chat. Thank you everybody for being in the, the chat. Uh, uh, Okay, so I just want to read all the comments now. I'm going to go, I'm going to try to find a question quick. Uh, uh, oh, yeah. Okay, so Michelle, thank you. Michelle confirmed, not much of a girlfriend. She's the only one I've got. <laughs> I know Michelle. Who puts that in a song? Seriously, who puts it in a song? Why do they put that in a song? Hey, Pine Lake Apartments, um, Rebecca, Jennifer. Hey, Jennifer, welcome to the show. Okay, I was hoping, Jennifer wants to know, I was hoping to get a message from the love of my life, my cat, Tigger who passed recently, December 11th. Is he okay? Okay, his passing was not your fault. Um, not in the way, not in the way that you're thinking. He is okay, he's on the other side. And you know, that is a great name for a cat. 
Um, Tigger is uh, the word that Tigger is bringing through is blessed, Michelle. Tigger, uh, I'm Jennifer. Oh my gosh, Jennifer, I'm so sorry. I'm so, so sorry, Jennifer. Jennifer, the word that Tigger is bringing through is blessed. Just blessed. Very blessed. Everything that happened, happened the way it was supposed to and in the time it was supposed to. So please know that and please be at peace with that. Ooh, sorry for shaking the camera, everybody. Okay, if you have a question and you're in the chat watching live on YouTube and you can join us live on YouTube every Monday at um, noon central and every Wednesday at 7 p.m. central, you can post a question in there. If I miss your, if I miss, miss, your question, please post it again, and I will get to it as soon as I can. Um, and then uh, if you'd like to call in and ask a question, the number is 845-277-9131. And here I go to the next caller, 205. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Hi, Tony. Thank you for taking my call. My name is Patricia, and I'm calling from Alabama. Patricia, and, from... um, happy new year. Happy new year. Okay, Patricia from Alabama, how can I help you today? Yes, I would just like to know if you have any specific messages that message that I need to know. Um, I do still have a lot going on, but um, I would just like to know if there's anything specific that I need to be doing or I need to know. Okay, so, so the first thing that I'm hearing for you, Patricia, is work, and you need to get everything in order at work or with your work. Get it? If, I'm, if I can yeah. say get it good to go, get it in order, like get everything in order and get it prepared to go. There's going to be something coming in at work, whether it's extra work or more work or whatever it is. Now, if you don't have a job, this would be the work in your home. But if you're looking for a job, this is also pertaining to get it out there. Whatever it is with work, get on top of it, stay on top of it and get it good to go. Don't lollygag. Don't, don't, don't mess up. Don't, um, okay. Don't procrastinate. Don't lollygag. Don't put things off because you're going to have something coming in. There's something right behind you. That's like coming in. That's going to, um, require a lot of your time and attention. So, and it, if, and again, if this is a literal work situation, it's at work that this is coming in that you're going to have to spend a lot of time and attention at if it's uh, if it's work within the home or wherever this work is it's going to be something that comes in that you're going to have to put a lot of attention on so you need to get as much done as you can over the next mm, I want to say I'm going to say 2 weeks even though they're saying a month I'm going to say 2 weeks just so you're kind of ahead of a game because if you're a procrastinator like I am and I am uh You'll think I have a month and then on the 29th day, you'll be like, oh my gosh, I have to do everything now. Um, so get it all done now. Get everything you can get done. Get it done now. Don't put anything off. Keep moving. Um, like they keep saying, keep move your, moving your piles to the done pile. And Patricia, that's the message I have for you. I hope it was really helpful. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. You are yes, thank you so much, Tony. You are so so welcome. And please um call back again on uh, Monday or whenever you want to, and we will do it all over again. Okay, love. Okay, blessings. Blessings, love. Good night. Night night. Okay, I'm going to go to the next if there's another question. Uh okay, uh Riley's wants to know is dad proud that i graduated despite my mental health issues i i'm going to say it exactly how i'm hearing it riley and i hope this makes sense to, 
sense to you? Yes, I sure am. Um, and I'm not getting the right dialect or the right, like it's being said in a certain way and I'm not picking up that like accent or dialect yet. So please give me a moment. Yes. Yep. I sure am. Uh, you had a harder go of it than most, but you were a fighter or resilient and you made it through. Um, now, now, <clears throat> now I, he sees how much more challenging he, okay, thank you. Now he understands the challenges you went through. Now he understands how, how, okay, thank you. It was challenging and, and where before he, he may not, when he was here, he may not have completely understood how it was challenging, but now he does, he gets, he gets it. And he wants you to know that, uh, keep going, don't give up and everything will be, um, will be uh, brighter or bigger. It's gonna keep getting brighter and bigger and don't, um, like don't, like it's, I don't understand, uh, it's uh, the way that it's being said might be a little bit differently than the way that I would typically say this, but don't, um, squ don't squash or, um, make smaller or squash the uh, almost like the light, but also the opportunities. I hope, uh, okay, Riley, I really hope that makes sense for you. I hope you understand the way he's saying that. Is he, did he have a other, okay, when I say did he have like some sort of accent, is that what I mean is, did he speak other than than American? Was his because I can tell sometimes when I have a little bit of difficulty bringing the message through, it's because there's a different verbiage or accent that normally would be used. Okay, Riley, thank you so much for asking that question. I really appreciate it. Um, again, Amy May, is it taco time? Because I really want to go for tacos with you this weekend, Amy. Let's do it. Just say yes to me, Amy. Um, you are so welcome, Riley. You are so, so welcome. Yes, please. Yes, Amy. Yay. Amy and I are doing tacos. Okay. Uh, <laughs> And the whole world now knows, uh, you guys, you, you got boys, listen, girls are this simple, tacos and chips. We might just be that simple, boys. Okay, okay, okay. Um, okay, Amy, call me tomorrow or later tonight and we'll talk about tacos this weekend. Um, Girl, I love you. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> okay. 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 Oh, uh, how do the I, oh gosh. Okay. Focus, Tony. Get back into the show. Okay. Um, if you do have a question, please post it in the comments and I will get to it. If you have posted a question above these questions, please repost it and I will get to it as soon as I can. I'm going to the next caller. <clears throat> 929, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, uh, Tony, it's Teresa. How are you? Teresa, I'm doing wonderful. Where are you calling from, love? I'm calling from Long Island. I did a private reading with you. <laughs> Excellent. Well, thank you so much, Teresa. Okay, love, how can I help you today? Uh, two things. Let me do a validation first. First of all, I would like to tell your callers that you are very authentic. You're very real. And I hope everyone do a private session with Tony. okay, because she's excellent okay um i wanted to tell you that you helped me find the uh 
a lawyer. Remember I called to you in regards to a lawsuit that I, a pending uh, lawsuit? Yes, 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 I do so, recall. Yes, so I had everything in place. I, You know what? I found the lawyer right, right after we spoke. It's like I bypassed her uh, webpage, but because every, so many different things were going on, but I did find a lawyer. Like you told me, she had a darker skin complexion, so I did find her. Yes. I, I wanted to let you know that. <laughs> and I did find a realtor. You, you talked about so everything, all the little things I was missing out on, is everything is in place. Excellent. I'm so, so Everything happy. Everything is in place. And thank you. Thank you for the compliments. And thank you for telling that to everybody. I did not pay her to say that, folks. I did not. <laughs> so what, how no, can I no. help you? How can I help you tonight, Teresa? Yes. Okay. So, Tony, oh, 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 I'm picking up. I'm going to have to do a private reading with you. Okay. So in the future, I think I might do a job. I'm picking up the energy around a little often. <laughs> I'm about to do this with you privately. And it's like my heart tugs, is tugging at her. So just wanted to see what you pick up around the energy of that. Am I crazy or no? Okay, so I want to make sure I'm understanding you correctly. You're considering picking, you're, you're not picking, you're considering adopting a female child. Yes, in the future, about two. I think she's about two, three. Okay. Um, Teresa, I think that... Okay, so this is a such a sensitive subject, and I'm going to be as delicate <sighs> as I private. can. Uh, well, I'm going to... What I'm going to say is there might be some complications... And you might have to look at, you, there may be a few complications with it. So you might have to do some workarounds to be able to do this. Okay. So what I would say is, as of right now, it looks like there would be one or two complications. Unless this child is directly related to you, it would be a little bit difficult in this moment but there will be some workarounds that you might be able to do that may help help you with this process which we can talk about that at another time but yeah it yeah. might okay it might be just a little bit complicated for you to to accomplish that as everything sits right now okay love Okay. All right. We'll chat. I'm going to call you to do a private meeting. Okay. That sounds perfect. All right. That's fine. Thank you so very much. And I look forward to talking with you again. Okay. That sounds good. Thank you, love. Okay. Everybody. Okay. So I'm going to do, I'm going to um, look to see if there's another question online. Uh, I don't, I don't feel like there is. I hate Patrick. Yep. I said hi to Patrick, Rebecca, Riley. I think I caught everybody online already. So what I'm going to do now, I have a lot of callers. So unless another question pops up, I'm just going to go caller after caller and I might channel a little bit. Uh, Mysterio. Hey. Yes. Okay. Oh, I have to tell. Okay. So everybody, Mysterio wants to know, trying to write a private eye book, different eras. Will it work? Absolutely. It's going to be smashing. It's going to be smashing. It's going to be very, very good. You need, you need to get it out there. And I'm hearing don't procrastinate the sooner the better. Okay, Mysterio. Absolutely. Um, I think 347. Did I do 929? 929, I think, I think that was Patricia. I'm going to go to 347, 347, 347, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, Tony, this is Katie. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, Katie. How can I help you, love? Um, I am calling about, um, well, 
I want to start dating and I wanted to get some guidance about dating and maybe, you know, me possibly meeting someone and things like that and um, how to, you know, going about it. So I just wanted to get some guidance about starting to date again. Okay, so the biggest thing I hear is you're going to meet somebody or your biggest potential to meet a person that has the potential to go into a long-term relationship is going to be in March of this year. You're going to meet this person organically. You're going to meet them outdoors. You're going to meet them outdoors. You're going to meet them... (laughs) I hear a song coming through. I'm sorry, everybody. Prepare your ears. Um... Under the moonlight. <laughs> I don't even know if that's a real song, but that's what they're singing to me. <laughs> Under the moonlight. So, um, Katie, where where do you live or where will you be in March? Um, well, I moved to a new town. Remember, I wanted to move. And when I tell you, I just love it. I love where, well, I love, well, I love where I live at. I love the people in the building. It's just, it's the best, one of the best experiences I've ever had. But I, um, I'm I'm in Georgia, but I do plan on doing a lot of traveling this year. And I also want to like get outside, meaning (laughs) like, so you know, go to the gym or go to events. I want to, you know, make friends here. So Katie, a couple things I see coming in for you, and I'm I'm just going to make it super duper, like try to get as much out as I can. Um, number one, you're, yeah, you okay. are going to be a lot of traveling this year. Number two, because you're in, in Georgia, this is what I was trying to get at. You know, I live in a state where it's really cold through April, sometimes May in Georgia, it's it, you're going to have good weather in March. So if you're outside under the moonlight in May, you're going to be good. But I do feel March. like if you are traveling in March to other areas, and I I feel like you are going to you you have the possibility to meet somebody there. I also feel like you're going to be taking a dancing class, but that's completely separate. Um, I do feel like. Whether you meet this person where you, in your area or where you travel to, I'm going to give you a quick little thing. The person does not reside in another country. This is like a little warning or a little, hey, if you meet somebody that currently lives in another country, 86 that, eight. Get rid of it. Okay. Get rid. No, that okay. is. Okay. Okay. You're gonna be like, it's March, and I just met this guy who's a love bomber, and he must be the one Tony was. No, that is not. No, 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 no. That is not your man. Your man lives in your country. Okay. Um, and as a matter of fact, he doesn't live far. From where you, I don't mean like he lives down the block. I mean, he probably lives in the same like city city as you. So don't, don't think it's somebody like that. (laughs) Don't think it's, don't think it's that it's not. I get what you're saying. I I get what you're saying. But yes, I'm opening up and I decided I was like, I want to try to get out and meet people. And I was like, I'm even open to online dating as well. Nope. No, nope. so, um, you know, nope. I'm going to, I'm going to try a lot of different things. Nope. Okay. Don't try that dot online dating thing. <laughs> get out and meet. <laughs> Let me tell you how to live your life. Yeah, get out and meet people. <laughs> Let me tell you how to live your life. Get out and meet people organically. I do feel like this person is a yeah. little bit older than you, but he also has his poop in a really nice group. He's got his poop together. And I would use the other word, but, ooh, but you know, you know, I can't, you know, it's TV. Yes, yes. It's actual I TV. What you're 
but he okay. has a, he's together. So he has a open. little. I'm very open. Thank you so much, Tony. You're um, welcome. Happy New Year. You I too. I wish you well, and thank you always for taking my call. Thank you so much. You are so welcome, love. I hope you have an amazing New Year too. And until next time, uh, just enjoy life. <laughs> I will. You too. Thanks. Bye-bye. Thank you. Okay, guys. Uh, let's see who else came through. You're welcome, Mysterio. Bo's Fishing. Hey, Bo's Fishing. It's been a minute. Um, we also have Katarina. Katarina. Hi, Katarina. Thank you so much. So I'm going to be answering questions online back and forth. So if you're new or you just tuned in, no, I'm going to go back and forth with questions um, from the call log. So now I'm going to take one in the chat. Um, this Bose fishing says, um, Tony, this is Lynn. Just curious if my dad, Leo has any advice for me for the new year. I miss his wisdom. Okay. Yeah, he is. You know, the biggest thing I can say, um, So the first thing that's coming through is the song, keep it coming, love, keep it coming, love, don't stop it, no, don't stop it, no, don't stop it, no, that song is coming through. So the message has to do with you receiving love and how you're receiving love and not having any walls or being guarded to any love coming in. not having, I'm going to just clear that for you and everybody listening, any walls, any being guarded, any um, things stopping or blocking us. Oh, it's already hitting me, you guys. Receiving love is now going to be healed, cleared, released. Oh, all that caused and kept it. Let's pull that out of us also. Now, people are often afraid to let this go because they feel like if they let this go, then they're going to get hurt. It is quite the opposite. When we hold on to it is when that's what we're thinking of. And then we, <clears throat> it's still clearing. And then that's what we bring to us and it ends up happening. And then when we clear it, we're, <clears throat> Jesus, Moses. Then we're open to who? Then we're open to um, pure love. And, and when we can receive fully and give fully is when that person that can give fully comes, comes in. I hope that makes sense to everybody. Okay. Um, the other thing, yeah, just open up. There's something brand new coming through. Now, I don't know. The way that I'm being shown this is a baby. It's a baby. Um, yeah, it's it's a baby. I don't know. Um, now, whether this is a, a niece, nephew, great niece, nephew, grandchild, child, whatever it is, I see a baby and there's a chance it's a girl. It's a baby girl. It's a baby girl. Uh, whether this is here now, recently came in, um, or is on the way, um, congratulations. And I do feel like this is, this is going to uh, give you that opportunity to completely open up again, but keep that for, for all the way around. Okay. Um, please confirm about the baby if you know, okay. Um, uh, Lynn, please confirm that. I'm going to go to the next caller, who I believe is um, 347. Oh, 347, what's your name and where are you calling from? Oh, oh no, Tony, you spoke with me already. Of course I did. <laughs> Thank you so much, love. I'm so sorry. <laughs> of course I did. <laughs> okay, let's go to the next caller. <laughs> Let's go to the real next next caller. <laughs> the next caller is one 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 one. What's your name and where are you calling from? Three two. Yep. Okay. 
sometimes that happens. People call in and they're eh, 480. Here we go, 480. What's your name and where are you calling from? Shiloh, Brian, and I'm calling from Phoenix, Arizona. Okay. Shiloh, did you say your name is Shiloh? Yeah. I love that name, by the way. I love it. Oh my gosh. Oh, thanks. Thank okay. you. Okay, tell me. Um, are you doing any um, connecting to the other side? Right absolutely. Now, or is that difficult? No, yeah, absolutely. I just need okay. a first name and a relationship to you. Ron. I'm sorry? Okay, it's Ron, and he was... His name is Ron, the first name, and he was a very good friend of okay. mine okay. that passed. Okay, so the timeline I'm hearing is a year, year and a half. And this can mean a couple of different things. Um, so if you had, do you, first, let me ask you, do you have a question for Ron? Or a question about your life? Um question about my life yeah will I be moving a year year and a half anytime soon okay so that he answered oh, the okay. question because the first thing I said the timeline it, I'm hearing is a year year and a half and then I was like well what's that so he is already that, knew <laughs> yeah he already they always oh my god I love them I love them okay so they always know what you want and how, how it comes so like yay ron thank you um so you're year and a half if you try to push it sooner you will not get the right place or the right you'll end up moving twice okay if you try to oh, make I won't it push it any sooner that's for sure i want to stay here as long as i can yeah don't push it any sooner because you'll end up moving twice you'll end up in the wrong place first so just stay where you are. And like you said, he's saying as long as you can, they're, they, those on the other side are helping to facilitate you to stay where you are until your next place that you're going to be becomes available. And you'll know, like the moment okay. this place is available, you're going to go, now's the time. And you're going to like, boom, boom, boom. And it's going to just flow like um like whatever flows okay and then um water <laughs> like yes like what yes just like water it's gonna flow like water thank you <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh my god can i ask okay. a personal question sure well yeah as long as it's not about me absolutely <laughs> Um, it's actually for Ron. Like, I just want to know if he has any regrets as far as the way he left. Okay, so um, I'm gonna I'm gonna give you his answer, and it might he's saying it's gonna surprise you. Um, absolutely not. Um, if it oh, that doesn't surprise me. Oh, thank goodness. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Everything that happens happens in accordance to it. it, it I just, you know, I'm not going to go into that. I'm going to say it, it. He's just saying it, it was just meant to be this way. It was just meant there were lessons that Absolutely. other people had to learn from the way he lived and the way he passed. And in every life of people we know, and every passing of people we know, there is a lesson if we choose to look at it that way. Um, so I often- On the other side or here? Here and for, for us and for them. So oh, okay. I, I will say they have no regrets in the way they live. The people on the other side have no regrets in the way they lived, what they did, how they passed, even if they did something that we consider super trashy to us, um, they have no regrets because they can see that this whole world is going exactly how it's supposed to. And even if somebody does, and we all do trashy stuff to each other, nobody it gets to be so high and mighty that they get to say, I have never 
ever hurt anyone. No, listen, when you were two years old, you spat at your great uncle and it hurt him. Okay. We've all. <laughs> I will say though, Ron is like a very good person. Like one of the absolute best hearted people oh. that I've ever known in my life. Like, that is. Um, I don't see him hurting anybody no, like, no, no, no. intentionally at all. He's. No, He's no, good yeah, all the no, way through. no, 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 that's not the point that let me, let me re let me, let me say this. That's not the point. The point is the, the way that they're saying this and, and excuse me, if I get a little bit off track when I'm trying to explain this is everything that happens here is very, it's supposed to happen in what it, it's supposed to happen. So when they're up there looking down or, you know, right here, looking at the way they can see everything and the flow and the perfection of the flow and how everything is supposed to go. And so, no, he has absolutely no regrets, none whatsoever, none, none. So where is he exactly? Like, and the reason I ask that is his death was a suicide. Mm -hmm. And so I'm um, um, confused about, you know, what happens in that situation. I'm going to, I'm going to say something and like, please everybody, I want everybody to understand this. And if you're Christian or Catholic or Lutheran or whatever you are, there's only, there's only when we pass, I'm going to explain this in a very delicate way. When we pass only one one place to go no matter what our earthly beliefs are now if we read this bible it says all loving all forgiving it says he died for our sins and if there is no judgment and we are not to judge and have proclamations of judgment then and if 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 our father our creator is all loving and all forgiving. What doesn't fall under that umbrella? So he's home. He's Absolutely. home. He went home. And that is the only place we can go. Okay. And also, there is not one person here without sin. So if one person did not go home, no person would go home. Because we all sin according to what is proclaimed as sin. We have all in one way or another sinned. And I don't mean to sound preachy and I, I apologize and please forgive me. But we have all done something that would like close those big gates on our booties. And But if we're all, for, all loving and all forgiving, then we have all already been forgiven and I only have three minutes left and I'm I'm gonna mute you for a second and I want to tell everybody this little thing I was I have to talk so fast and I apologize I was doing this um self-hypnosis healing one night and I wanted to work on something and it's it's not important and I don't have enough time for all the details but I just started I did uh uh started sobbing and I was like please forgive me please forgive me and Jesus's face or Yeshua's face came right to my face, came right to my face and said, it was forgiven seconds. before it was done. It was forgiven before it was done. And that goes for everyone. As long as our intentions are pure and we're doing the best we can, it is forgiven before we are done. We are here to learn and grow. And sometimes in that growth, sometimes in that growth, 60 there are mistakes or whatever you want to call it, things that we, we do that might not be the best absolute thing. Oh my God, I have to talk so fast right now. So please know, please know. I love each one of you so very, very stinking much. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And uh, make Ten miracles. Seconds. Oh my gosh, shush. Make miracles happen in your life, everybody. Mm -hmm.